Hi folks, I have a Hatz diesel here, single cylinder. This particular one is a 1B30. I wanted to show everybody the timing. Don't mind the lights in a dark place, out of the moisture. And I'm using a flashlight to try to make this work. It's really simple actually, your, your piston for your top dead center. You'll have two timing marks here. You'll see them on the gear itself. So those goes straight up but you can kind of see how the piston here your connecting rod it's straight up so your pistons at the top that's top dead center and those marks end up becoming straight up now they won't stay right straight so you kind of have to tip it turn it a little bit to make it straight and then the cover that would go on here it has its own gear on it and you can see that mark there that goes straight down toward the shaft Then when you slide this cover, put it back on top of the motor, that mark will be in the center. Like I said, don't mind the, the lighting here. It's pretty poor. Okay, there we go. And then those two circles there. So that one on the other gear will be in the center of this. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now here you have a balance shaft. And the likelihood you have to worry about timing that, you probably don't. Unless you pull this cover off and this pulls out. This will just lift right out. But that also has some timing marks on it. And you can see them marks right down there. And there's also another mark that joins up on the crankshaft itself. Way down there on the gear down there. So you have to rotate it. Now these timing marks, they're not in sync with this timing mark. This one here is different than that one. So you have to line these two up first. And I can't really show you where that other mark is. Actually, yeah, I can. It's opposite. Way down. Let me line this up. You can see that timing mark. That little zero right about there well that's going to be on the opposite side over here forgive me for the lighting here fellas but you'll get the idea there's nothing really else to see about this and then those two timing marks there so you're going to rotate this basically you rotate the crankshaft and when that those marks line up and you push this back into its hole on the underside of this part here, the balance shaft. And then those two will be timed up. And then you have to do your crankshaft timing. Which what I just explained. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not. And thank you very much for those that already have.